Inkscape to easel basic trays. Today I'm going to show you how to create some really basic tray shapes so you can create your own in the future. First I'm going to start by getting rid of what I got and the first one we're going to do is just a simple round one. I'm going to select my circle tool and just I'm going to hold the control key while I do this and right now I have a circle that's 5.4 by 5.4 and we're gonna make that a little bit bigger you'll see this little lock right here I'm gonna lock that down and I'm gonna make this outside circle 10 inches and you'll notice that they're both 10 now I'm gonna get I'm gonna do this off the page because I got the page set wrong right now but okay so I've got my 10 inch circle now I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna do a control C for copy control V for paste I'm going to make this one 9 inches. And now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn on my snaps, which is this button right here. And I'm going to have this one right here turned on. This is snap to centers. And you'll notice that the little red X pops up when you're snapped to the center. Now I have a <clears throat> half inch border all the way around so that'll be the thickness of the outside of the tray. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a simple rectangle doesn't matter what size and now I'm going to unlock and I want the width of this to be 0.5 which is the same as our border and I'm going to also do the snap to center and now I'm going to pull it up just so it goes just above this inside circle. And the same on that. Now if you wanted to, you could just take this, select the outside circle, hold your shift key, select that rectangle you just created, and hit path, difference. And that'll split it into two sections. So you, there you have a two section tray. Now I'm going to hit control Z, and I'm going to go control C, copy, control V, paste, rotate 90 which is this one up here little rotate button and I'm gonna snap that to the center and then I'm gonna take this one select it hold the shift key select that one and do path um, union now you notice it's just one solid piece now I'm gonna select that one I'm gonna hold the shift key select that inside circle again and do path difference now you got four separates, four separate compartments. And if you really want to, I'll do control Z again. I can do copy and we'll rotate it. Hold the control key. And if you'll notice, it snaps in 15 degree increments. So 15, 30, 45. I'm going to take that and I'm going to say control C, control V again, copy paste, and I'm going to flip it. Mirror, mirror image rather. And that'll flip it the other way. Now I can do that right there. I snapped it to the center. Now if I go around and select this one, hold the shift key, select that, hold the shift key, select that one. And which one am I missing? I don't know. We'll do a path. Union. And you'll notice, oops, I missed this one. So I'll just select this whole thing, hold the shift key, select that one I missed, and do path union. While that's still selected, hold the shift key, select that inner circle again, and do path difference. And now you have a pie shaped. It's pretty simple. And you can do that with any shape you want. That was just a real s simple circle tray. Let's try something a little bit different. <clears throat> we'll go over here to the star tool and you'll have it set on uh, regular polygons. <laughs> and I'm just going to, mine is going to be eight sided. So I'm just going to draw an eight sided. Now you notice that it's going to be kind of hard to work with because it's off center, but Inkscape does that. I don't know why, but anyway, I'll show you this. We're going to go to Object, Transform, and I'm going to go to Rotate, and I want to rotate it 22.5 degrees and hit Apply. 
there. Now it's flat and square. It'll be a lot easier to work with. And this particular shape is 8.25. I'm going to lock it down and I'm going to make it 10 inches again. And it's just basically the same thing over and over that you want to do what I which I did with the circle. Do a control C for copy, control V for paste. It's still locked down. Make it an 8 or make it a 9. Snap it to the center. And you can just continue to draw your little thingies here. Unlock. Width is 0 0.5. Snap to the center. Control C, Control V. Rotate. Snap to the center. Now you could do these. Hold the shift key. Select that one. Hold the shift key. Object or path rather, union, select the inside octagon and do path, difference. And You can keep going if you wanted to do the 45's or whatever you want to do you could keep going. But that's just a couple of ways to make a couple quick trays. But what if you have an oddball shaped, like an oval? Oops, let me get this back on screen. Ah, sometimes when you're trying to do this for that. And now if I did a control C and a control V and I made this, well, let me do that. Let me get rid of that. Select this, lock it, and we'll just make this 10 again. There, now it's a 10 by 5. Now if I do control C, control V, and then make it a 9, and snap to center, you'll notice that it's thicker in the corners and thinner. So how do we remedy that? Well we can try this and do a control C, control V and we can scale it. Um, we're going to lock scale proportionately and we're going to do 80 percent and we're going to hit apply and then you can stick that in there. And that still looks funky because it's still fatter on the end, so, hmm, what do we do? Well, we're going to take this, we're going to make this box go away. And we're going to go over here to Path, or Object, the Fill and Stroke tool. There it is. <coughs> and I'm going to go to the Stroke Style. And you'll notice the pen I'm using at this current time is .011 which is not my normal pen but for this demonstration it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank it up to a half inch which is one, two, three, four, five. Now you'll notice it's the pen width is 5.11. I'm going to go to path, stroke to path you'll watch the box it'll get bigger it'll go to the outside and then I'm gonna go back over to here and I'm gonna go one two three four five back down to my point eleven my original go down to this little X here click it and there's no fill and then I'm gonna hold the shift key and click black and there now I have an oval within an oval and it's the same shape all the way around and then I can go path and I'm gonna break it apart so now it's two separate pieces just like the circle and the octagon I was working on. Then you can just go ahead and do the same thing. You know, make your little dividers, make them whichever size you want, snap them, hold the shift key, select them both, path, difference, and there you got a two, a two-sided, so control Z. Let me get rid of that show you one other weird thing here and then I'll end this and uh, yeah that'll be it. I'm going to go to this <coughs> freehand pencil tool and I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to draw some kind of odd shape like that. Oops. 
make sure it goes outside both sides and then I'm going to do it with the pen one two three uh, yeah we'll do three uh, we'll just do two and again I'm going to go path stroke to path I'm going to take it back down to my 11 I'm going to hit the X for no fill hold the shift key select black then I'm going to hold the outside and I'm going to do path difference and there now you got two separate weird kind of funny shaped tray pieces but it's just that easy um, if you have any questions comments please leave them in the comment box below uh, I appreciate you watching and until next time later